So you want to start texturing your anime UVs. Not a problem. For today's example, I'll be using this bacteriophage, which is one of your allies that helps you fight against bacteria in the game. So the first thing that you do after you finish squaring all your UVs is create your maps. So if you switch from UV to image editor, change it from view to paint and make a new image. Call it albedo or color. If you're making a character, I recommend a size like 2048. Otherwise, if you're doing something like a gun or a sword, 1024 is usually all you need. Then save the image anywhere on your computer and immediately make another image file the same size and call it detail or ambient occlusion. In the tool menu, use the bucket to turn everything white and again save it to your computer. Awesome, now open the shader editor and create a new anime material. If you don't have an anime material, you can download mine absolutely free from ArtStation. Tips are not required, but they definitely help keep this channel alive and free for everyone else. Once you have the material, you will see two image nodes, one for color and one for detail. Make sure this one is set to your color map and this one is set to your detail map. Once you've set that up, click all your objects, go to edit mode, press A, and under materials, assign your anime shader material to the whole thing. Alright, now you are ready to start texturing. I personally always start with the color map. If you've already planned your color palette, this next part's really easy. Let's say our character has three main colors, dark green, light green, and red. And let's say that we wanted to go ahead and paint the red areas first. In edit mode, select all the faces on your model that should be red, then go to the texture paint mode, turn on the paint mask, set your tool to the fill bucket and under active tools make sure that you're on the right map set your color to red left click on the model and it will paint all those selected faces now you just repeat the process for each main color on your palette once you've done that the last main thing you need to set up is your outlines go to edit mode press a then go to texture mode change this to image editor and you should see all your uvs from here switch your tool from the bucket to the brush change the color to jet black stroke to line change fall off to constant and the brush size can really be anything, but all you really gotta do is frame each island inside a black border. If you hold the alt key while you drag left click, it will draw perfectly straight lines, which will make it super easy to frame your perfectly square UV map. Alright, well that's how you set everything up. If you join me next video, I'll show you how to control the borders and bend the frame for better details. Hope that helps, and as always, hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you around.